All right, hello everyone. I am Sucheta Goed. Um, hope you're enjoying the Metaverse conference so far and diving into exciting tech insights. It's kind of 5 a.m. here on the East Coast of the United States, but delivering this session is definitely a great start of the day for me. Um, so yeah, welcome to my session, Exploring Microsoft Intune, Manage and Secure Your Devices and Apps. Now, in an era where hybrid and remote work have become the norm, managing and securing devices and applications is more challenging than ever. Also, while AI innovations are transforming the tech world, security still stands as the chief concern for all organizations worldwide. And so we are here to learn about Microsoft Intune, which meets enterprise device management and security challenges. Here is my introduction, um, and thanks Chirag for introducing me already. Um, I am a Microsoft MVP in Azure and security, um, specifically Intune. I have over 16 years of experience working in large global enterprise IT environments. Currently, I work in healthcare IT. I'm the manager of an endpoint engineering team. I hold 15 certifications across various Microsoft platforms. And I specialize in modern management and enterprise mobility, leveraging Azure and um, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Sorry to interrupt, Sucheta. I think we're just seeing your main PowerPoint application, so we couldn't see your speaker slide in the presentation mode. Oh, you're not seeing? Okay, so maybe tell me now. Hold on. How about now? No, I can still see your PowerPoint slides, about six of them. Okay, um, hold on, let me. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. Okay, I know what happened there wasn't sharing the screen. How about now? Perfect. And then thank if you. I click next. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for interrupting though. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is my introduction. And uh, like I was mentioning, feel free to reach out separately if you'd like to learn more about security and Intune or Azure in general. Um, and here is the objectives. I intend to focus my session on Intune from a security standpoint. We'll start with reviewing some enterprise um, challenges and how Intune helps address them. I'll explain what Intune is. Um, we'll go over several core capabilities as well as some advanced features, devices and apps management, endpoint security and so on. And what is Metaverse without Copilot and AI, right? So I will be also talking about Copilot in Intune, um, and we'll then explore the Intune portal in the demo, uh, which is also known as the Intune Admin Center. Um, I will then wrap it up with um, some next steps, and we'll, um, I'll take questions towards the end because I may or may not be looking at the chat during my presentation. Um, Okay, so let's get started here with why Intune, right? So what challenges are we actually trying to solve that make Intune the right solution? The number one challenge, enterprise security. And where do attacks start in an enterprise scenario? On endpoints. Organizations need to protect its data where it is most vulnerable, that is on end user devices. Additionally, organizations need to ensure that end user devices, apps, and data are compliant with organizational standards and other regulations. So Microsoft Intune is the solution that securely manages identities, manages apps, and manages devices. It helps protect access and data on organization-owned and users' personal devices and has compliance and reporting features that support the zero trust security model. Intune fosters a hybrid work culture by securely managing uh, BYOD, that is bring your own device scenarios, 
uh, without compromising security and offers employees flexibility while safeguarding corporate data. Intune also ensures consistency in organizational apps, device settings, and configurations by providing a centralized platform for device and app management. It simplifies the deployment, updating, and monitoring of devices, applications, as well as policies, and streamlines IT management across the organization. And here is an elaborative introduction to Intune. Intune is a cloud-based unified endpoint management solution that controls user access to organizational resources while providing application and device management across um, mobile devices, desktop computers, and virtual endpoints. It integrates with Azure, Entra ID, and the whole Microsoft ecosystem and enables a modern cloud-based approach to managing devices, apps, and security. Intune has a web-based administration console, which we'll explore during the demo. Now, in general, um, device management means having controls in place to centrally administer devices, regardless of their physical location. You optimize device features for business use, you deploy and update software on the devices, configure settings, enforce security and policies, and also monitor the devices. Intune offers exactly those capabilities, um, and the graphic illustrates key features that um, Intune has to offer towards the top. And if you look towards the bottom, Intune offers two device management solutions, mobile device management, that is MDM, and mobile application management, that is MAM. Now, mobile device management, um, MDM, is the management and security of company-owned devices, corporate devices, while MAM, which is mobile application management, refers to management and security of work apps, um, including M365 apps such as Outlook and Teams, primarily on users' personal devices. So this is more catered towards uh, BYOD scenarios because um, those are the devices on which user, uh, users access uh, company data and company apps. However, MAM can also be leveraged on company-owned devices, and we'll see a little bit of this um, going further in, a, um, in an upcoming slide. So let's understand Intune's security capabilities on a high level. Now, with Intune, you can manage devices owned by the organization and devices owned by the end users, as we uh, touched upon on the earlier slide. And you see on this graphic in the bottom, bottom left, um, the supported device platforms include um, Android, Apple, Linux, and Windows client devices. And it also includes virtual machines. Entra ID is used for device and identity storage and permissions, and Intune controls devices through policies, as you see on the graphic. This includes um, security policies and application and device-specific policies. The devices are then evaluated for compliance with these policies, and using Entra conditional access features, access on such devices to corporate apps is controlled. Apps such as SharePoint and Teams, as you see on the right. As you move towards a zero trust environment, aligning your organization's resources with the three core principles of zero trust, that is verify explicitly, use least privilege access and assume breach, um, it's crucial to be able to manage these settings. Intune helps configure and deploy many of the necessary controls to support this security framework. Additionally, if you look at the top left, Intune can integrate with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint or other mobile threat defense partners to help protect your managed devices, personal devices, and applications. And apart from this, um, there are a couple other key capabilities of Intune which are worth noting from a security standpoint 
and those are Windows Autopilot and Windows Auto Patch. Autopilot ensures that devices are securely provisioned for end users and ready for use with minimal user input and that they are compliant with policies, uh, reducing security risks during the onboarding process. And auto patch automates the deployment of critical updates, ensuring devices are always protected from known vulnerabilities and reduces um, the organization's attack surface. These capabilities streamline Windows device management um, or Windows device deployment and ensure that the devices are securely deployed, updated and compliant with organizational standards. Now, there are a couple of ways to approach device management, as I spoke about earlier. You can manage different aspects of devices using the features built into Intune. This approach is called mobile device management. Organization-owned devices that are provided to end users are fully managed by enrolling the devices into Intune for MDM. Enrollment is the process that enables device management. With enrollment, Intune uh, applies the necessary configurations, applications, and security policies to the corporate devices. An IT admin can push applications and settings on these enrolled devices. Admins have full control of the device. Um, if a device is ever lost or stolen, the admin can remove all of the company data from the device. And then users' personal devices, that is BYOD devices that they use for work. However, um, those are not typically enrolled in Intune for full control and management. As an admin, you would only manage applications, um, that is work applications on users' personal devices. And this approach is called mobile application management, MAM, which controls corporate data and apps such as Outlook or Teams allowing users to use their personal devices to access organizational resources. In case users' device is lost or stolen, admins can remove organizational data and um, or the Intune managed applications. Users' other applications or their personal applications on their personal phone and their personal settings, those remain untouched. So that's the beauty of MAM. Um, you can also use a combination of MAM and MDM together. MAM can also be leveraged for company-owned devices controlled through MDM. And using M MAM, organizational data can be further protected at the app level on company-owned devices. Um, this enables enhanced security controls in addition to leveraging MDM for corporate-owned devices. All right, so getting a bit further into device management, and I'm going to spend some time on this slide just to explain the different aspects of uh, device management through Intune. Um, you know, looking into some of the specific uh, policies we viewed on an earlier slide. Now, to enable a device for management into Intune, it must be enrolled. Admins create platform specific enrollment profiles so that devices can be managed. I will be showing some of this during the demo as well. Um, enrollment is typically set up for corporate owned devices and enables Intune to start enforcing policies and start enforcing profiles. As examples of enrollment types, um, Apple devices or iPhones, iOS devices, those are set up for enrollment with automated device enrollment. Um, it's, it's ADE um, and that enables full management of the device. Windows devices are intra joined or hybrid joined and so on. Um, next, let's, let's look into policies. Now, device configuration profiles or policies are settings that you apply to devices to manage and control their behavior, to enforce security to configure device features um, and to ensure consistency across all devices. Now, almost all types of settings on devices can be deployed using configuration profiles. 
um, and examples would be managing Bluetooth settings on the devices or managing and restricting, um, you know, custom VPN settings or power settings for the device. You can configure settings for devices that are shared with many users and um, that may not be associated with a specific user. Um, Intune allows to configure and manage these dedicated or kiosk type devices that are typically used by frontline workers. You would probably see such devices in a healthcare um, environment or even in retail environments where you go as a user and work on the kiosk to get your job done. Device restrictions. Um, that's next. Let's look into that. So configuring um, settings and controlling security, hardware, data sharing, password requirements um, is what device restrictions enables. For example, um, you can create a device restriction profile that prevents an iPhone or an iPad device um, from using like the device camera. Like you, the user will be blocked from using the device camera on such devices if you put specific controls in place or um, use specific Wi-Fi only. You know, you have as an admin, you have control to make those kind of um, settings deployments on end users devices. Um, and basically device restrictions control security. And then we have device features. Um, it is specific to Apple devices because Apple devices have uniformity across the different device types. Um, so device features um, is or enables you to control features such as say the home screen experience on an Apple iPhone or an iPad. And then we have compliance policies. Now, these are rules or checks that define whether a device meets your organization's security and operational standards. By deploying these policies, you can ensure that only compliant devices can access corporate resources. It enhances security and governance. Admins create and deploy these policies to check the compliance health of devices. You can create compliance policies that say block simple passwords or require minimum OS version for the device. Um, require that if it's a mobile device, then you can require that the mobile is not jailbroken um, if it's a user's personal device and so on. So you can put those checks in place using Intune um, as an admin. So that was device management and now switching gears to application management. Now, Intune enables you to manage the entire application lifecycle, including settings and configuration, deployment, updates and removal or uninstallation of the applications. It supports store apps, M365 apps, web apps, as, um, as well as line of business application. Intune enables Win32 app management on Windows devices. It allows you to install, configure, protect, and monitor your desktop applications. Such Windows Classic apps are typically packaged using the Win32 content prep tool um, into like um, .intune win installation format. And if your organization creates this, its own applications, then you can use the Windows Package Manager tool to add applications to a private store. Um, for deployment to end users. It is a deployment option for applications uh, with extensions such as .exe or .msi, .msix. Um, so that's where Windows Package Manager comes into play. Uh, Windows Package Manager is a comprehensive package uh, manager solution that consists of a command line tool um, that is Winget and a set of services for installing applications on Windows devices. And from security perspective, through Intune, you can manage and protect organizational data at the app level on both company-owned and personal BYOD devices, as we saw on a previous slide. MAM supports creating policies to safeguard and manage access to applications and data that is application level management through policies. 
And let's expand upon the applications related policies next. Now, Intune offers application configuration profiles and application protection policies, which you can see in the center of the graphic, along with managed apps located at the top right. Um, these are all essential or effectively um, for effectively managing and um, securing your applications across the organization. With the help of app configuration policies, admins can do things such as um, configure apps for users um, before the application gets installed on users' devices. And um, that actually prevents or that doesn't need the user to configure the app themselves. Uh, you as an admin can do it for the users. And then we have app protection policies, which help prevent data leaks by ensuring that company data isn't saved to say local storage of the device or personal cloud services of the user. Um, using app protection policies, admins can block actions like copy and paste between personal and work apps um, or require a pin when accessing a corporate app. Uh, these policies can also enforce a minimum application version requirement, and I will show some of this also during the demo. Now, the policies can selectively wipe company data on devices that don't meet security standards. Um, if the device has, say, an outdated OS or if it is jailbroken, However, in this case, users' personal data is kept intact and only the company data is erased. So app protection policies can be combined with application configuration policies to enhance security for corporate managed apps on both corporate and BYOD devices. And then we have managed apps. Um, managed apps are supported partner or Microsoft apps um, selected and configured by your organization to securely use at work uh, with application protection policies applied to protect the internal data. Managed apps meet your organization's security requirements. Um, the app configuration and app protection policies apply only to these managed apps, not um, to users' other personal apps. And examples of managed apps would be M365 apps like, um, again, SharePoint, Outlook, Teams. And with that overview of applications, um, let's now delve into endpoint security offerings in Intune. And by endpoints here, I mean end user devices, right? It could be anything. It could be a laptop, a desktop, an iPhone, an iPad. So Intune's Endpoint security capabilities provide advanced security and management for organizational devices, applications, and data. You can use Intune to enforce security settings across devices. There are several essential security controls available in Intune, as you see listed on the slide. And all of these come together to provide a full suite of security solution and help harden your organization's security posture. Using these, you can build and deploy security settings to safeguard devices and mitigate risks, identify at-risk devices, implement, say, remediation strategies, or restore devices to a, to a more compliant or secure state, and so on. And many of these capabilities are built into the Windows OS, like uh, disk encryption or Windows Firewall. Um, and using Intune, you can control those settings and features. So let's review each of these real quick. Starting with disk encryption, it protects data at rest um, using built-in encryption methods. Um, we have BitLocker for Windows and we have FileVault for Mac OS. You can control both these settings through Intune. Um, you can configure policies to automatically encrypt such devices as well. Next, we have firewall. You can configure Windows or Mac OS devices built in firewall settings to protect network integrity and block malicious traffic. Next up is endpoint privilege management. 
With this, you can implement least privilege by limiting administrative rights on endpoints. Um, and it allows users to run as standard users while still completing tasks that require elevated privilege, privileges. Um, examples would include you know, installing an application, an M365 application, or updating device drivers on a device. And then we have account protection. Um, account protection safeguards user identity by enforcing MFA, uh, password policies, settings for Windows Hello, settings for credential guard, um, you can configure Windows local administrator password solution, which is LAPS, to manage the password of a single local administrator account uh, per device. Next, we have security baselines. These are Microsoft recommended security configurations that provide a default restrictive security posture to ensure devices meet minimum security standards. And then let's head over to the next slide to learn about the remaining capabilities specifically centered around Defender. Defender plays a huge role um, in enhancing security for Intune, or to, it works with Intune to enhance security. So Defender for Endpoint, which is also known as MDE, um, is a mobile threat defense solution that offers advanced threat analytics and automated investigation to manage vulnerabilities, prevent security breaches, and limit their impact. Now to leverage these capabilities of MDE, we can integrate it with Intune and improve the ability to identify and respond to risks or threats. The endpoint detection and response section in Intune is where we onboard devices to MDE. Um, to utilize threat data from the device. We can take advantage of the endpoint detection and response um, capabilities of MDE, which provide advanced attack detections that are near real time and actionable. And security analysts can understand scope of a breach and take actions to remediate threats. Now, Intune also allows admins to set up attack surface reduction settings. MDE includes capabilities to help reduce attack surfaces, that is areas where your organization is vulnerable to attacks. Admins can create ASR rules, um, and by ASR, I mean attack surface reduction. Um, admins can create those rules to block executables and scripts used in for instance, say like office applications uh, that may attempt to download or run uh, suspicious scripts. And admins can also block unauthorized removable media on devices and so on. Then in Intune, uh, we have a, a pane for security tasks. Um, this provides a workflow for admins to guide remediation efforts between Intune and Defender for Endpoint. And with Intune, we can also deploy antivirus settings. Um, Defender Antivirus is the next generation protection component of MDE. With Intune, you can configure Defender to protect endpoints from malware, viruses, and malicious software. Next up, um, let's delve into a couple other important security aspects in Intune. Uh, first is device compliance. Compliance policies in Intune, um, as we've briefly learned on a previous slide, define the rules and settings um, that devices must meet to stay secure, such as you know, running a minimum OS version or preventing jailbroken devices. These policies regularly monitor devices for compliance, um, identifying potential security risks, if a device is not compliant, actions like um, notifying users to fix it or remotely locking or retiring the device can be taken because um, in most cases, this would be a user's personal device, which is not compliant, and you would not want them to access company data using that non-compliant device. And lastly, we have um, conditional access. Now, conditional access is an Entra feature. Um, and but it is available in Intune. With conditional access, you can enforce compliance that we just talked about. 
you can block non-compliant devices from accessing corporate resources. Um, for example, if a user's personal device does not meet uh, compliance rules, that is if the device is not at a minimum OS version that you specify, then you can block access to organization resources. Um, uh, again, Outlook and or Teams um, on such a non-compliant device. Um, it, if a device accessing company resources is compliant for your compliance policies, then access to those work applications is granted. So that's where conditional access comes into picture and it works um, in combination with compliance and defender to enhance security across your organizational devices. OK, so that's all the endpoint security offerings that are part of Intune. And now it's finally time to talk about yet another co-pilot in the Microsoft world. Um, yes, there is a co-pilot for Intune, and it is currently in preview. Um, it's a subset of uh, co-pilot for security. Now, it's an Intune embedded AI powered tool that provides valuable insights to admins tailored for their organizational needs. So Copilot in Intune is an offering primarily for Intune admins. It automates routine tasks to, um, uh, you know, something that an admin would do um, all the time can be automated or um, it can actually be prevented um, by prompting the Copilot to do certain stuff. Um, it does help um, it, do, it, do, it does help um, enhance security or efficiency of the admins, which reduces repetitive work. Um, for instance, an admin can prompt the copilot asking it to summarize the Windows um, device configuration profile. And the admin can then use that summary to provide to um, say change control or to provide for change control documentation. Um, Copilot can also summarize the device and pull together all details pertaining to the device in Intune. Um, this avoids the admin having to click around multiple areas within Intune. Um, apart from summarization, Copilot in Intune provides real time guidance to admins when they are creating policies so they can make informed decisions. Admins can enter prompts and type in questions to obtain responses and insights from the copilot to ensure that policies and settings that they are configuring um, optimize business outcomes um, and safely and as intended. It can make you understand um, how each setting works and the security impact of various settings. Copilot can help identify whether the same setting is already in use in another policy that another admin may have created within Intune, so you can avoid policy conflicts. Copilot can tell what Microsoft recommends for specific configurations and so on. So it gives you those insights. Um, and this way, the admin also does not need to navigate away from the Intune portal to look for information or break their workflow uh, of policy creation. Um, and then Copilot also assists with troubleshooting, right? Um, troubleshooting of devices and apps. So Copilot helps to discover and remediate the root cause of device issues. It can quickly analyze applications and policies assigned to a device to help determine issues affecting your users on their devices. It helps obtain detailed information about specific devices, including installed applications, group membership, and so on. It can help compare configuration of two different devices, um, which definitely helps with troubleshooting. It offers an error analyzer prompt which allows to enter an error code um, and then get more information about the error and receive possible resolutions, which is fantastic. Um, this helps resolve issues faster without the admin having to look through several distinct places during troubleshooting. So that's Copilot in Intune, which I believe continues to evolve as we speak here. And that brings us to the demo. So let's explore the Intune portal and some of the most important things that we've discussed. Um, and let me start by sharing my screen here. Uh, 
And let me know if you're not able to see my screen. Should be pretty much visible. Perfect. Thank you. OK, um, so this is the Azure portal. And the reason I'm bringing up the Azure portal is to show you how Intune is actually an Azure service. So you type in Intune on your Azure portal and you see Intune. So you can click and get into the Intune portal right from here, but I already have it open, so I'll go straight in. Now, this is the landing page for the Intune portal, and um, it recently got a fresh new look. So uh, this is how it looks at this point, which is great. Um, gives you good status insights. You know, it's a good snapshot into some of the most important configuration um, items from your current um, deployments. Um, and then this is some insights by Microsoft right here as well. And towards the bottom here, um, I think this is really um, important to note because here you can get direct access to documentation and training related to Intune. So that's the home page. Let me go to the dashboard. Now there is a default dashboard, but you can edit it. And it gives you uh, several different tiles um, that you can customize and create your own dashboard from. If I cancel out of this, um, you can actually create a new dashboard for, um, you know, start start from scratch as a blank dashboard and go from there. So it's up to you how you want to configure it. But this would be a good uh, page where you can get a centralized view of your different settings and device enrollments and compliance of devices. I'm going to get more into this particular instance where you see that one of my devices is not in compliance, but I'll keep that for the endpoint security portion. Um, so this is a good view for admins to, you know, uh, when they start their day, they can go look here to see if anything's wrong and then uh, try and fix accordingly. But then if we go to all services, these basically are the services offered by Intune. Um, we have application management, we have device management. Most importantly, we have endpoint security, which I will spend a lot of time on. And then groups and users. These basically are the groups and users that you see in your Entra ID. Because Intune relies on Entra ID for, um, say, permissions or directory services or identities. Um, so this basically is a replica of what you see in Entra um, or the subset of what you see in Entra, depending on your configurations. Um, there is also a surface management portal, um, basically tailored for managing or better securing surface devices through Intune. Um, and then you have the tenant administration part, which is where um, you as an administrator would have control over different administrative aspects of the Intune setup itself. So we'll get Sorry into to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, so that we got five minutes. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I should be able to do. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so get me get to getting into devices. Um, basically, this page you will see um, again a snapshot of all your devices and um, any non-compliant devices that I said I will touch upon. But if you go here, this will list out all the devices in your environment. And basically, this will be a mix of any the, the OS types or any um, uh, ownership types, you know, whether corporate or personal. Going into Intune, um, sorry, going into Windows, you can see that we are able to manage Windows 365 devices. Um, as far as enrollment goes, we can configure Windows devices to enroll when they join um, or register with your Entra tenant. And then we have configuration profiles that we talked about. So if I can quickly show you this, basically I can configure, um, this is just a very minimal setting that I've done here for Bluetooth settings on a Windows device. So I would configure that, I would assign it to a group of devices and that way it gets deployed and it will enforce those um, restrictions on the devices. We have compliance policies that we also talked about. So basically the rules or checks to see if my devices are um, you know, at a minimum OS version, if they have BitLocker set up, if they have secure boot set up. 
Um, and then if I have any scripts that I want to run, you know, PowerShell scripts, I can deploy them through here. I can also do group policy settings through configuration profiles, um, importing ADMX profiles, you know, from your on-prem um, GPOs. And then there's some group policy analytics, which helps analyze your on-prem GPOs and see if they are compatible with Intune. And then, of course, you can update Windows devices right from within the Intune console. And similarly, you have um, iOS and iPadOS or macOS devices. Um, the only dif major difference here is the enrollment part where you need to have an enrollment program token. You would typically have Apple Business Manager associated with your tenant. Um, and then you need an MDM push certificate to be able to enroll devices and start managing them which is very much specific to iOS. Um, similarly for macOS, but then Android is altogether different. With Android, you have um, four different enrollment types. Um, again, depending on what the ownership of the device is, but you do need a managed Google Play account to be able to enroll devices and push applications and do all the fun stuff. Um, so this is where I, was, I would configure a, um, and I, and I Android device. And if you see here, I have some settings, you know, copy and paste between work and personal profiles and blocking that. So such settings I can do here. Um, and then mainly the compliance part where it shows me that one of my devices is not compliant. If I view the report, it's going to tell me what device that is that is not compliant, but it doesn't give more information. But if I go into devices, um, and from here, if I look up that device and drill down into the device, then I should be able to see um, what the issue is. So the minimum OS version is what is not compliant. So that's that's how you need to get um, around um, stuff to get deeper into getting the right insights for your um, endpoints. And then we have applications. Basically, you can see all your applications here, you know, um, Android applications, iOS applications. You can add Windows applications, you know, something like Edge. I can add that. Um, it gives you a wizard. You can go through and add those applications. And then next for applications, um, we have uh, by platform. Again, it will be the same applications that will show up there. There are app protection policies. Um, basically, that is where you would configure settings like preventing backups, you know, saving copies of organizational data. And then we have app configuration policies. I have one created for Outlook so that when it's installed to the end user, they don't have to configure anything. And then the most important endpoint security part where we have all these settings that I went through on the slides. But this is where the major endpoint security settings would happen for your devices. So Intune has several controls in place to help you deploy your um, endpoint security uh, specific protections and safeguards to your end, end, end user devices. And then there's the Microsoft Defender for endpoint integration. Um, of course, Intune has reports and users and groups is what I talked about already. And that's the tenant administration where the most important one is add-ons for Intune. So there are several uh, add-ons available, which you can, you know, avail uh, they are available for trial or purchase. You can add them from here. So that's kind of a gist of um, the portal. Let me quickly go back to my um, slides and finish up here. I just have one slide to go. OK, hopefully you're still able to see my slide. Um, and these are like the key takeaways, you know, to recap, we explore that Intune helps organizations manage and secure applications and devices and ensure security um, on organizational resources from anywhere. You would want to try Intune out. So, um, you know, there is a trial available um, or you can have a, like an E5 trial license or a business premium trial license and uh, play around in Intune. There's also a certification exam, the MD102. If you uh, learn through that um, path, then you get good insights into what Intune is. And then the next one here is the feedback slide. Um, 
wrapping up my session here, feel free to rate um, and you know share feedback. And don't miss out on the upcoming sessions. Um, I know this is going to be a wonderful conference here today. So, and thank you everyone. Uh, thank you organizers, moderators, sponsors. Um, thank you so much for listening in. And if you have any questions, feel free to bring them up. Um, you can speak up if you want, or you can put them in chat.